If you take a look at this part of the gate, you can notice how there is a second normal map, blended with the trim sheet's normal map. While the trim sheet textures use the first UV channel, this detail normal map is using the second one. The detail normal is also mixed with the default tiling normal node, which does nothing on its own, but is still necessary for the shader to work. The mix node is using the sheet subset mask to ensure the detail normals don't affect the subset parts. The detail normals themselves are generated from a simple low res height texture that can tile indefinitely. Also, I have the node tree set up in a way so I can easily scale and rotate the map. If I now remove the second UV channel, the detail normals will vanish. And if I now call the box unwrap tool from the edit mode pi, the details reappear. Box unwrap has created a second UV channel and has unwrapped the entire mesh using a cubic projection in that channel. The trim UVs in the first channel are unaffected by this. The tool has a few properties you can adjust, either at the bottom left of the screen or in the so called redo last window. Box unwrap will by default keep the originally selected UV channel active, but you can toggle this behavior. You can also adjust the margin to control the packing. So far the tool was in select only mode, which means only the selected objects are box unwrapped. And so if I select a second object, and take both into edit mode, both of these objects will be box unwrapped in the same UV space. Note that since two objects now share the same UV space, the detail texture will appear bigger. and so you would have to increase the tiling for the texture to maintain the same level of detail as before. Instead of box unwrapping the selected objects only, you can also choose to box unwrap based on shared materials. This means decal machine will check the selected object's trim sheet materials, and then also unwrap all other objects with those same materials. As you can see, the stairs part is now also box unwrapped, even though it wasn't selected, because it shares the material with the currently selected object. And there are a few other objects in the scene, which now also display the tiling detail normal map. All of them have this material in the stack. Finally, there is also the option to unwrap all visible objects in the scene that carry a trim sheet material. This may take a second or two. But since only the dark example sheet material takes advantage of a detail texture, you don't see any other objects changing in this scene. Note however how the detail texture size has changed quite dramatically, and that's because over 100 objects have now been unwrapped and share the same UV space. I'm going back to unwrap based on shared materials as it makes more sense here. Understand that the UVs produced by the tool are not intended to be final or optimized in any way. This is just a quick way to update objects taking advantage of a second UV channel. You could for instance run this tool while modeling or adding trims to update the UVs without switching workspaces. If you export this to Unreal or Unity, you may want to manually adjust your UVs before the export.